Hello, I'm Sari Awad. I'm professor at the Energy Systems and Environmental Engineering Department at IMT Atlantic. And I'm the head of the master PBPE and the track PM3E. The Erasmus Key Action 171 allows the mobility of staff and the students between uh, four uh, top-ranked Lebanese universities and IMT Atlantic. Lebanese students can integrate our different master programs combining uh, project management and technical domains uh, highly demanded in the Lebanese job market. Uh, the main objective of this action is to strengthen the collaboration between uh, IMT Atlantic and these four universities uh, through the creation of uh, new double degrees and uh, joint uh, PhD programs. Uh, the grants covering their travel and uh, living expenses uh, and uh, the, waiver of the full waiver of their tuition fees uh, will be a unique opportunity for them to integrate uh, one of the uh, internationally renowned technological universities in the domains uh, strategically targeted by the Lebanese job market. Uh, coming from a culturally rich and open country, they will appreciate the uh, international aspect of our programs, acting like melting pots uh, in which they can evolve in an international and multicultural context. Besides that, they'll have the opportunity to delve into the French culture and to the rich history of Brittany region. And they will have also the opportunity to live in one of the most vibrant cities in France and Europe. I'm Claire Gérant, Associate Professor at IMT Atlantic, and I am the coordinator of the Erasmus Mundus ME3 Plus program. This program has been granted three times by the European Commission and the current edition will end up in 2026 before a new proposal. The program ME3 Plus is a two-year Master of Science and it is unique thanks to the combination of management and engineering of energy and environmental projects. It aims at training the future project manager, challenging the environmental and energy transitions. We are five core partners in this program, including BME, the Budapest University of Technology and Economics in Hungary, the University of Boros in Sweden, the Free University of Bolzano and the University of Trento in Italy. Three study tracks are proposed, allowing the mobility in at least two European countries during the academic semesters. And the last semester is devoted to the master thesis, operated in a company, an organization or a research lab. It is attractive, with more than 1,000 of received application per intake from all over the world. And we have today more than 300 of alumni called the ME3 family. Each track offers a double degree or a joint degree in the case of the Italian track. All these degrees are nationally recognized. From the last two editions, 80% of the students have found a job after the master thesis and 10% are committed in a PhD. ICARET objective is to facilitate the international mobilities and inclusion because when we talk about interculturality there are two main things inclusion and diversity. So ICARET was born out two observations. Our international students often feel lonely and excluded first. Secondly, there is some conceptual vagueness. What is interculturality? Is this about adaptation? Is it about cultural differences? Is it about integration? In fact, do we say the same when we say intercultural? That's why ICARET has two main stages, clarifying the concepts and producing some relevant training tools. And in this sense, we can say that ICARET uh, as really uh, distinctive features. It is a, a research approach combining several disciplines such as 
Philosophy with our partners from Wuppertal, Terminology with the University of Padova, the analysis of discourse and representation with EMT Atlantic, and the analysis of life stories with Zagreb and Venezia. Another great distinction of Icaret is that we have a Moroccan partner, uh, whose speciality is also the analysis of discourses. Because it is impossible to work on intercultural issues on a European perspective alone. Hello, I'm Siegfried Rouvray de la Haye. I'm a researcher in the computer science department of IMT Atlantic in Brest. I am coordinating the DECART project funded by the Erasmus Plus program. Following the diary project I coordinated on decision-making skills for engineering students on uncertain environments, so-called VUCA environments, the DECART project on this side is more for program leaders to analyze with them the quality of their educational programs in order to better face the transformations and transitions in higher education due to changing contexts. The Descartes project proposed already with these six international partners some methods and tools. So actually we have a curriculum component canvas with nine components which permit program leaders to describe their curriculum and compare it uh, with some others curriculum. Uh, as an example, we have already more than 20 curriculum specified. We have also a kind of serious game for program leaders where we introduce some cards uh, which you can uh, connect to the curriculum canvas, its components, for example, teaching and learning activities, learning outcomes and so on, just to reflect about the change management of this curriculum and these future transformations. And also we have some red crisis cards which put some pressure on curriculum and open to discussions. We have also a serious game on resilience, which is a prototype now and permits to reflect about the future of a curriculum depending on the changing environment uh, of the university institution and so on. We also offer uh, some trainings uh, for program leaders on leadership skills and postures to help them to accompany and change the curriculum through the years depending on the context. The Descartes project tools are also of interest for students as they have their words to say about the quality of their education. As an example, in October 2024, at IMT Atlantic and in Indonesia, some of our students are investigating a semester of their dream, shaping the broad lines of a curriculum on decarbonation. In a one hour and a half, students in subgroup are to define the broad lines of the itinerary of a boat in which they may go on to travel all around Europe to visit best or very good technological universities in Europe and also large industries. And the workspace is finally a boat, a cruise ship, which will be a low carbon cruise ship, so that it will be a real laboratory also about uh, sustainable energies. Thanks to this workshop, students can already see themselves as future players of European energy sovereignty and also give some very good ideas to teachers about that. If you would like to know more about the Descartes project, please visit the project website. My name is uh, Abdesalam Abdelwas and uh, I'm professor uh, in radiochemistry and nuclear materials and I'm the coordinator of the Sarina Erasmus Mundus program since 2018. So uh, I have an international experience where I, I that I started by uh, four years uh, postdoc at the University of New Mexico in the United States. Then I came back to France and then worked on a lot of uh, European international projects. So uh, about the Sarina Master Program, <coughs> we uh, applied the first time in 2018 and we were really successful. And it is uh, a joint uh, program with three others, other uh, universities. Uh, so next to IMT Atlantic, 
uh, we have uh, University Polytechnic of Madrid, UPM. We have the second um, university is uh, La Peronta University of Technology from Finland. And the third uh, uh, university is the University of Ljubljana from Slovenia. So uh, the program uh, is divided into two tracks. One track is about nuclear engineering, basically nuclear power plant operation, maintenance, and so on. And we have the second track, which is on uh, radioactive waste management and dismantlement of nuclear installation. So the first track on nuclear power plant operation, the student, actually all the student, all the batch, they spend the first semester in Nantes, here at IMT Atlantic, where they start knowing each other and they have the same teaching. Then the batch split into two sub-batches. One is on waste management and the other one on nuclear power uh, plant operation. So for the track of, on waste management, after spending six months in IMT Atlantic, the student will move to UPM Madrid in Spain, spending one semester there. The third semester, they come back to Nantes to study specialization in waste management and dismantlement of nuclear installations. And the fourth semester is about um, thesis, master thesis, either in industry uh, or in a research lab. The second track is about <coughs> nuclear power plant operation and maintenance. So after spending one semester in Nantes, the first one, the second semester the student will spend it in uh, LUT at La Peronta in Finland, learning about um, computational modeling, about thermal hydraulics. After that, the third semester they move to the University of Ljubljana, learning more about reactor operation where they will do a lot of work on uh, um, a research reactor and the fourth semester the student like the other batch they spend a six month internship either in a research lab or uh, or in an industrial organization